Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Car Question. Yes, usually I don't talk before diagonal testing, but I needed to do something because of the 6.9 video that we did. A lot of you guys consider it one of the worst ever all-wheel drive system because of that video that you can access via the cards. I know it was not really amazing and there's a lot of you out there that criticize my driving skill, criticize how I make the test. You should not do that. If you want to comment, comment about the technical specification, comment about the performance of the vehicle. But for the driving, you're not sitting behind the wheels. You cannot see how really this hill is a step in line. Uh, I know the angle, sometimes I take different approach, but look at the ground clearance that you have on that CX-9. And when I've got the possibility to face it with a vehicle that got more ground clearance, well, that's normal that I go further in the hill. Also, a lot of you guys are telling me to change the tires when you've got two tires off the air that doesn't give you that full biting. Even if they're worn, even if they're brand new, uh, it's not going to do it. So anyway, besides that, Mazda made some improvement this year with their all-wheel drive system, their Skyactiv all-wheel drive system as they call it. So you've got also the G-Victor in control that the company says improves steering and turns and everything, but in the dial testing, new programmation of that all-wheel drive system, and you're gonna see a major difference when I put it into traction control on mode and when I put it into the offsetting. So offsetting, it's gonna be ready to face a way more difficult challenge, but there's a but only. So we really push our CX-9, it's gonna hold on more than ever. That display that we had with the previous version is now long gone. But if you push it too much, you might see it once. We, we only made it once appear, but still that's major improvement from all the stuff that we saw. So remember in the description, I'm putting a lot of stuff for you guys. You've got also the score sheet and you've got also some individual notes that we're giving every vehicle about the performance in that famous diagonal testing. So the next video is going to be the demonstration of the Mazda 6.9 diagonal test. And I don't want to spoil anything, but be sure that you watch until the end. So get ready, subscribe to Car Question because that next video is going to be impressive. Take care. Care.